Oh no, Iron Man's going to die. Or is he? Probably, maybe, hopefully not. Iron Man, Tony Stark, probably better known as Robert Downey Jr. to many people, is and will always be known as the catalyst for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Merry Christmas, buddy. Probably the most well-known Marvel actor. Also Chris Evans, and Chris Hemsworth, and also Chris Pratt. Man, there are a lot of Chris's. And after seven movie appearances, which is the most out of all his fellow actors and actresses, is it time for him to pass on the torch uh, to other amazing new superheroes like Spider-Man, Black Panther, and Doc Strange? Should Marvel wait before killing off its most renowned hero? Let's first talk about why people think he's going to die in Infinity War or Avengers 4. Does put a smile on my face. Okay, yeah, maybe. I hope they remember you. Uh, yeah. I think so, maybe. You know, out of all the people that I've had the good fortune to work with, these two particular guys and the triumvirate that we formed together, it's very special friendship and decade plus of time together. Go team, yeah! You know, the journey that Robert Downey Jr. has made, he's the godfather of all this. It's literally been the adventure of a lifetime. I get a little misty thinking about it, so, you know, I lucked out. Oh. Well, he's gonna die. Okay, so maybe there's enough evidence, but if it's something as important as spoilerific, spoilery? I don't know. Then why would they feature it in so many promotional material? Let's say you go watch the movie, which, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious, and Iron Man dies. How would you feel? Sad and awful, of course, but also a bit let down, don't you think? Like, you saw it coming from a mile away, but... No, that's not the way Marvel would handle something like that. Not a great plan. Now let's say Iron Man isn't going to die. You go to the movie in IMAX, which, <laughs> of course, again. Uh, you have your popcorn ready together with your anticipation and... Nothing. I mean, it was a great movie, but somehow you feel let down. This is the same thing that happened to The Last Jedi, which I have to say, personally, I liked the movie. Uh, over time, it started to get a bit worse, but um, but that's beside the point. Um, the thing was, people were overhyping the film so much, people started to create the movie in their head, and if, some, if they don't get to see the movie on the big screen, then they're gonna be let down. And what will Marvel do? Honestly, I have no idea. I think that they're just going to leave the character up in the air for now and let him retire like Hawkeye. Perfect story arc. Reactor, sorry I couldn't resist the joke. So when Kevin Feige said there were going to be real movie deaths, I think he meant maybe something less, uh, some lesser characters, like maybe Loki. He isn't that obvious as Iron Man to kill off and he has been around since the first Avengers movie. Like he's been in 5 Marvel movies so far, with the 6th coming up. I'm betting my money on him, sadly. But I wanna know your thoughts. What do you think? Is Tony Stark going to die? Will Loki bite the dust? Let me know your theories in the comments down below. I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh, I'm using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. Thank you guys so much for watching my first theory video. I hope you enjoyed it. I have lots more about um, Infinity War and other stuff. So be sure to subscribe and leave a like. And I will see you at a later date. Bye guys.